Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. This video we will try to see how to implement the delete request. So if you want to delete a post, how we can delete a post here? Let's try to see. So by using the HTTP po uh, delete request. Okay. Now in the post.js here we are having the post.js right. So for now I am keeping here the delete uh, button here in this one. Now here let's go to the post. We are having here anchor link. So for the time being what I will try to do is I will try to keep it here one button such that button delete post okay so here I can use something like class name the hyphen red hyphen 400 text hyphen white ex hyphen 3 ey hyphen 1 hyphen 2 let's try to keep okay so this is the delete post now what I will try to do here if we try to see if we refresh yeah we are able to see button now I will try to keep this one class name sorry class name is equal to text hyphen right I will I will move this button to the right side oh yeah this one is good so when I click on this button I need to delete this post automatically so how can I delete this post here this is the here we are looping right here I will write something like post deleted. Okay, post deleted is equal to what I will try to do this dot on post delete okay, handler. I will write something like a dot bind of this comma post dot id. I will, I will take the post dot id here. So now what I will try to do is here whenever the button is in click on click on click is equal to so here I can write props dot post deleted so I will be calling this method which I was, was passing the method so I will call that method on post delete handler we will try to write it here so on post delete handler is equal to and we will be getting the id right so we will be getting the e also and the id also now here what we can write i will write something like if window dot confirm are you sure you want to delete okay so here if are you sure if you want to delete means if it is success we can write so if if it is confirmed means so what we can write here axios dot delete okay axios dot delete so now i need to call the method so where what is the method i need to call here i can write firebase.google.com so in this firebase.google.com let's open this one in the get started i can open this one in the get started so here we will take this endpoint url for the delete request what we need to do is here slash post slash we need to send the id okay what is the id so we as we are already getting the id dollar of ID and we need to send dot JSON. Okay, so this is how we will be deleting. And upon getting the response, what we need to do? So after successfully deleting, we can call something like this dot get post. Okay, so that we will be getting the updated post. So now this is the request. So here, if I try to see, let's try to see. Here I have refreshed. So when I click on the delete post, so are you sure you want to delete? If I click on cancel fine but here the post details it is displaying right what we can write here here i can write e dot stop propagation okay so i will write this one so let's try to see whether it will not open or not why because so i will show you so here if i try to stop this one sorry what will happen so so we are getting an error here so telling Some error. Okay, stop progression is not a function. Let's try to see one post deleted. Oh, we have we, here we have this dot get post. We need this here. What? Let's try to console dot log. Okay, and console dot log id. Okay, let's try to check the output. Now if I try to check here, okay, okay, what is happening here? The first one is the ID and the second one is the 
okay first one is the id so that means i need to interchange this so i will be getting the id from there okay so i i am getting the e from here so now what i need to do here i can write e dot stop propagation propagation so that it will stop the propagating so now if i try to check so here the post details will not be displayed right now so what is happening you need to see if i click on this delete post so now it is not uh, it's not see not throwing an error if i click on the delete post sample add post okay so it has been successfully deleted and it is deleted see okay so this is how we will be applying the axios delete request so we, this is how we will be applying the delete request so why i have used stop propagation is for example here why it is having is this is here we are having a button inside an anchor link okay inside an anchor link we are having a button so that means when i click on this button indirectly i am nothing but i am clicking on this anchor link that means this this one entire thing is an anchor link so that means in this button also the anchor link is present so that means if i click on this button indirectly i am clicking the anchor link only so in order to stop that one so in order to stop responding to this anchor link so i have applied stop propagation to this button so that it will not go to the top to the anchor link okay so that is the reason we have applied the stop propagation this is nothing but called as an event bubbling so we have stopped the event bubbling so bubbling to the parent chain parent parent uh, parent element so we have stopped this one okay so that is the reason we have used the stop propagation okay so this is the axios delete request so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you